Hi everyone, Michelle Kunz here, your nurse educator. Today we're going to review a scenario. We're going to use the Dart Sim app on the iPad to review someone in cardiac arrest asystole that will go into PEA and will treat them. So let's focus in on this um, arrhythmia screen and see how we could treat the patient using this monitor as well. Here we have a patient who has no heart rate and they're in a flat line. They're in asystole. As you're already thinking that we will be doing high quality CPR, if we need a metronome to help us count at a fast rate, at least 100 to do compressions on this patient, that would be helpful. If we did not have a metronome, hopefully the team is working together to make sure there's high quality CPR. And in asystole, the drug of choice in cardiac arrest is epinephrine. The dose is one milligram every three to five minutes and there is no max. If we wanted to replace the epinephrine with a dose of vasopressin, which is a potent vasoconstricting drug, that would be 40 units IV push, one time only, and we make sure that when we push any medication, we push it while we're doing compressions. So it's epinephrine every three to five minutes for an arrhythmia like this, continue CPR, always consider the underlying causes. Remember the H's and T's. It could be hypoxia, hypovolemia, hypothermia, hydrogen ion. It could be the T's, which are trauma, toxins, which is drug overdose, tension pneumothorax, cardiac tamponade, thrombosis. So there are many causes of death that possibly are reversible. So we'll keep trying at that while we give epinephrine every three to five minutes, one dose of vasopressin, and hopefully we'll see a change in the patient's rhythm. We do see a change in this rhythm, but the first thing we need to check is if there's perfusion, is there a pulse, and if there is no pulse, we're going to call this rhythm, although it looks like normal sinus rhythm, it is PEA, pulseless electrical activity. So what is the team continuing to do? Of course, high quality CPR. Epinephrine can be continued every three to five minutes. We can also give a dose of the vasopressin if we haven't used it yet. And definitely consider those H's and T's. Because in this rhythm, we see there is electricity, but there is no love dub. There's no contraction of the heart. So treating the H's and T's while we're giving the meds, while we're doing CPR, is the best thing we can hope for. Hopefully the myocardium will start to work properly and maybe we'll start to get a blood pressure. We can try to get a blood pressure and if they need to have uh, fluids it might need, the patient might require a um, medicated infusion like epinephrine, levofed, or even a vasopressin infusion or high dose dopamine and hopefully we can get some other parameters on this patient to measure oxygen, uh, CO2 monitoring, and as the instructor I can always enter the blood pressure that we would like to see. Of course we would like minimum of 90 systolic. And if we would get some oxygen we certainly know that we would like it between 94 and 99. And CO2 monitoring would be wonderful, especially since this patient should be um, intubated or have an advanced airway by now. Normal CO2 is 35 to 40 with capnography, which could be present on your monitors in the patient's room if they're in the ICU and possibly on a newer defibrillator. And we'll try that blood pressure one more time and hopefully we have a pulse back with other normal parameters. There we go. So we saved that patient. So thank you for taking time with me and be sure to check out my other videos. Thank you. Bye-bye.